Today, I'm going to go into a quick research and find out what it would take to get your junk removal business found in Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania area. I'm going to go in to see what it would take to either compete or possibly even overtake the top listings for junk removal services in that particular area. I'm going to go through some keyword analysis. I'm going to check out the market to see if people are even actually looking for junk removal services in those particular areas and see if it's even worth your time to go out there and really market your business and get things going out there in your area. I'm going to show you step by step some of the things that you can do to analyze and you know check out your areas, your SEO competition in your particular with some free tools that you could use. And I'll show you step by step how to make that happen. So let's get cracking. I'll show you how to make that happen. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again with Do It Yourself Junk Removal SEO, where I help junk removal companies, dumpster rental companies, small business owners really understand the internet, search engine optimization, how they can do some of this stuff on their own to save them a lot of money, and what it really takes to get your business found on Google, which equals more money for you in the end in your pocket. And today, what I'm going to show is a quick little analysis of a particular area in Pennsylvania. I got a request in the comments. So I decided to do this one really, really quickly. And I'll show you what I would look for right away in order to see what it would take to either uh, compete with my competition or possibly even overtake them there on Google. So the very first thing I do is market, check out the market, see what people are actually typing into Google. So the very first thing I do is I type in Lehigh Valley junk removal, those four words into Google, hit search. And what I'm gonna do is look for the first website that's all by itself, not a big corporate website, not a big, like this one has multiple pages, not a Yelp website, not a home advisor or anything like it. Just look, look for one that's by itself. Here's the one I first one I, I see, calltohall.com. So what I do is I copy their domain address. Then I visit another website called the Hoth Search Engine Rankings. I'll provide a link here in the description. It's a free tool anybody can use. And then what I do is I pop this into the, whoops, into the search deal here. Click on it and see what the results are. And what this tool does, it brings back information as to what makes this website show up on Google, what words make it show up. And from that information, you can look and see the search volume for certain things that you want to rank for. In this case, junk removal, Lehigh Valley. So that's the very first thing I'm going to look for. And right away, I can see this website shows up for junk removal, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. And it says 40 times a month. Again, this is a free tool, just gives you from it rough estimates. Uh, it could be more, it could be less, more likely it's somewhere around this area. It's a free tool, so you can't really expect much, but this gives you a rough idea of what you need. But junk removal Lehigh Valley is 40 times. So naturally that means junk removal Lehigh Valley is probably searched without the PA at the end. Uh, but what I did notice is junk removal Allentown, Pennsylvania is 140 searches. So you might be better off building a website surrounding this search term here. But we're going to just go ahead and stick to Lehigh Valley because I can see the advantage of being found from, you know, because it's such a bigger area. So it's going to be people looking from different areas. But you can also see um, just based on this, more people are just typing in junk removal, Allentown, Pennsylvania. But that's the search volume. It's telling me, and these search volumes are great. There's plenty of search volume because you also think you got to take into account people type in just junk removal, um, mattresses, pull. There's different variations that they type in. But this is a good little search volume. That's enough to make things happen. So the next thing I'm going to do now is look at the Google map listings. Who's at the top, why they're there, and what I would possibly need to either compete with them or overtake them or somewhere getting towards the top of the search bar. I mean, at the search results here for the Google listings. So let's take a look at the Google map listings for these search terms. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is look at the Google map listings. Who shows up? In this three pack, when somebody types in Lee, Va Lehigh Valley junk removal. And right away, I see J Dog junk removal hauling, Lehigh Valley. I see they're very smart. They added the word Lehigh Valley to it. Uh, 1 800 junk, Allentown. So you're already up some stiff competition. You got the big, massive corporate companies here, but you might have an advantage because there's some people obviously know they'd be going to call these big companies, it's probably going to cost them more for the junk removal. Maybe they want a local guy, smaller smaller local business to do business with. So you got an open opening right here. But to me, there's like five things you need to get into the map listing. Of course, you need the geographical location. You got to make sure you get your map listing in this particular area. I know, it's, you know, it sucks that if you have to go to the outskirts, you live in the outskirts of the area, 
or anything like that. But if there's any possible way to get your map listing inside the area that you want to do service in by either, I don't care if you have to pay somebody for a listing, go to some shop, offer to pay them a hundred bucks to just get a card mailed to you so you get verified with Google, whatever it takes. I mean, if it's my business, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. But get a listing in that area if you don't have one already. Um, so that's one of the things you would need. Uh, you need business citations. This is your business name, your business address, your business phone number mentioned in as many places as you possibly can. The more Google sees that, the more it's going to trust your business um, once it sees it everywhere online. The next thing you're going to need is the Google reviews. You got to make sure you get some Google reviews. Um, even if some are not even that great, as long as there's some kind of life and activity happening on your Google listing, that's what's very, very important. Google wants to see people using their properties and the Google listings are their properties. That's why they want uh, more interaction interaction with them and the more it's going to favor them in that long term. It's also going to want things like the Google listings that you put in here, not the listings, like the little posts, your products and services. So you got to make sure you fill that out correctly. See how 1-800-DRUNK's done it right here. The more stuff you have, the more Google is going to favor you. You know, you got to fill that out correctly, make sure all your information is good. You have a little description. Everything's just dialed in perfectly. And then also, once you get things going, get to, let's see, like these guys are doing. So you can see they're doing like little Google posts on, on here. And you do them once a week. You know, you don't have to do them all the time. Once a week, two times a week, once every other week. It's whatever scent looks natural. You don't want to spam this thing or anything like that. That's another thing that creates life in your Google listing and all that stuff. So I can see all these guys are doing that with their uh, listings, except this guy. I did take a look at his, and he's not doing any of those things. Let's take a look. I don't see his services section filled out. I don't see him do any posts or anything like that. So that's a good advantage. Let's take a look at his business citations. And what do I do for that? I just copy his business name and his phone number right here. Click into Google. And this brings back how many times he's mentioned throughout the internet. And this only looks like it's about 10 times, 10 citations. So that's not much much to beat. You, you're just creating a Facebook page, a Yelp listing, Instagram page, um, LinkedIn page. That's four citations right there. You know, those are just places where you can place your business name, address, and phone number. If you have a YouTube channel, even if you just got one video on there, Make sure on your YouTube channel, on the description, put your business name, put your business address, business phone number on your channel, on your description of this channel, the same thing, business name, business address, business phone number, and of course, a link to your website on everything. So those are just examples of citations. There's places where you can get hundreds of and hundreds of them. Not all of them are going to stick, but the more you have, the more you have an advantage for that. So overtaking this third guy here doesn't seem like it'd be too tough. So that's what it's going to take to beat somebody out in that third pack of the number three in that map pack, if I get back to this damn thing here. But that's what it's going to take. Not much competition. Those other two are going to be quite the challenge to beat, but it can be done. All right, let's move on to the, to the websites now. Okay, the next thing we're going to look for is the top 10 websites underneath the Google map listings right here. Your whole goal, your whole intention should be to get your business listed here on Google, Google listings, as well as at least the one, two or three spot here of the, the organic listings underneath. And the reason you want that is because the more people see your business blaster all over the first page of Google, the more chances you're going to get of getting act the phone call. People are going to trust you more. People are going to feel like you earned those positions on Google, therefore giving you a call. One thing I did forget to mention on the Google listings that Google's looking for too is making sure the website connected to the listing actually even mentions the names like Lehigh Valley junk removal and things like that. So go ahead and click on that just to make sure it actually has it on there. And it does. So you got to make sure your website connected to your listing actually has that, which you will be when you do this. And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, we're going to look for the website that's at the top with the search results. Uh, and this is the one that's all by itself. And we're going to click on it and make sure it's following the rules. Now, in order for a website to rank on Google, it needs these specific things. It needs the proper title tag. This is a, the title tag of the website, the meta description of the website. And you got to make sure you have all those keywords that you want to be found for. The H1 title tag, the title of your website, 
the H2 title tag of your website, age to your website, and of course, content. You got to have some good content of your website. This is more important too when your website's newer as compared to an older website. The content is not as important because Google trusts it because it's been around for so damn long. So very first thing I look for is the age of the website. So already, I'm going to give you a link to where you could get this done. Uh, you just place your domain name on here for your competition. Click on there, hit submit. It's going to tell you how many how old this domain address is, and it's 12 years, 12 years old. So you have quite the competition. It's probably one of the biggest reasons it's sitting here on page one. Now we're going to see we're following all the SEO rules. We're going to go to seoscan.org. I'll provide that in the link in the description as well. Copy the domain address, pop it into that. Let me find it here. And right away, we're going to see if they're following the rules. Title tag. Let's see if Lehigh Valley Junk Removal is in the title tag. And I see Junk Removal, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. So they did good on there. No Bennett description. How about that? So you can beat them on that. H1 title tag. No H1 title tag. You can beat them on that. H2 title tags. Our services, getting organized has never been easier. H2 title tags are garbage too. So a really well-formulated website with some time and a little bit of backlinking could eventually overtake this website. It wouldn't be too difficult to do uh, because I said they don't really have much to it. Other than, let's take a look at the actual website. See, so have some content little thin on the content. Let's see, there's pages. They got a few pages. I'm going to take a look and see how much content's on their pages, just to see. Seems like it's a little bit slow, but I'm going to show you one that I'm working on right now, currently, uh, a really well-formulated website. So you go up to the tab, Las Vegas Junk Removal. That's the meta title. The meta description's already fixed up. This is their H1 title tag, Las Vegas Junk Removal. Subheadlines, H2 title tags, Las Vegas Junk Removal Services. More right here. More right here. I put some Google reviews in there. Notice how much content I put on there. Make it nice and flowy, nice and easy to, for the customer to read. A lot of content so that Google has no doubt once it crawls it what this website's about. I'm still working on it, still a work in progress. Pages that link out to other services, like construction cleanup, will link to a construction cleanup site page, just like this. And then this page links right back to the home page. A lot of interlinking between the pages, that sort of thing. This was going to make this website eventually rank on Google with time and some patience. So that's what it's going to take to overtake the, the junk removal out there in Lehigh Valley. Let's take a look real quick. There really isn't much competition website wise right here. Like I said, that would be easy. In my opinion, it'd be faster to get in the map listings, but you got to make sure you get that website going, connect it to your Google listing and eventually push everything together. Give it time, give it patience, get some linking going on, get your citations going. And that's what it would take to rank here at the top. So that's what I got for you guys in Lehigh Valley junk removal. And if you guys want to know more about some of the things that I do on the courses that I'm working on, so you guys can do this on your own and save thousands and thousands of dollars from having some big digital marketing company doing it for you. I have courses on how to build your own website, all that stuff. It's all going to be in my descriptions here below on my YouTube channel and all my videos. And that's all I got for you guys for now. Until next time.